It's been 35 years since the Eddie Murphy movie Coming to America was released. Let's take a look at how the cast of this iconic film looks in late 2023. Vanessa Bell Calloway played Imani Izzy. She was born on March 20, 1957, was 30 years old when the movie debuted, and is 66 years old now. Calloway is known for her work on stage as well as screen, with credits including What's Love Got to Do With It? and the television series Saints and Sinners. Her work has been recognized with multiple NAACP Image Award nominations. Bark like a dog. Woof, 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 woof. Eric LaSalle played Daryl Jenks. With his birth date on July 23, 1962, LaSalle was 25 years old at the release of Coming to America and is now 61 years old. LaSalle is best known for his portrayal of Dr. Peter Benton on the medical drama ER, for which he received three NAACP Image Awards and nominations for a Golden Globe and three Primetime Emmys. I'm all for that, especially with women. You know, they may not admit it, but they all want a man to take charge. <laughs> James Earl Jones portrayed King Jaffe Joffer. Born on January 17, 1931, Jones was 56 years old in 1987 and is currently 92 years old. Renowned for his deep, authoritative voice, he is celebrated for voice roles such as Darth Vader in Star Wars and Mufasa in The Lion King. His decorated career spans stage, film, and television, with accolades including Tony Awards and an Honorary Academy Award. We've gone to a great deal of trouble to select for you a very fine wife. Since the day she was born, she was taught to walk and speak and think as a queen. John A. Moss played Cleo McDowell. He was born on December 27, 1939, which means he was 47 when Coming to America came out and is now 83 years old. John is also known for his roles on Good Times as James Evans Sr. and on Roots as the adult Kunta Quinte. His extensive career includes appearances on Broadway and numerous film and television roles. Son, I'm just gonna tell you this one time. Yes. You wanna keep working here, stay off the drugs. Eddie Murphy played Prince Akeem. Eddie Murphy was born on April 3, 1961, making him 26 years old when Coming to America was released in 1988, and currently he is 62 years old. Beyond Coming to America, Murphy became a box office sensation with hits like Beverly Hills Cop, The Nutty Professor, and Shrek. His dynamic presence in both stand-up comedy and film earned him an Academy Award nomination for Dreamgirls. I am Akeem. It's nice to meet you, Akeem. I have recently been placed in charge of garbage. Do you have any that requires disposal? If you are enjoying the video so far, then hit that subscribe button for straight facts with no clickbait shenanigans. Let's keep this party going, Zamunda style. Sherry Headley played Lisa McDowell. Her birth date is July 15, 1964, so she was 23 during Coming to America and is presently 59 years old. Headley has acted in various television series, including The Cosby Show and All My Children, and films such as The Preacher's Wife. She maintains an active acting career with both film and television credits to her name. The other day at the rally, somebody stuffed a large amount of cash into one of the collection boxes. You wouldn't happen to know who that was, would you? Well, I... Uh... I thought it was you! <laughs> You know me, <laughs> anything for the kids. Frankie Faison played the landlord. Born on June 10, 1949, he was 38 at the movie's release and is 74 years old now. Faison is recognizable for his role as Commissioner Burl in The Wire and has an extensive resume that includes The Silence of the Lambs and Banshee. His career encompasses a variety of character roles across multiple genres. What is this? Photograph. What is this? McDowell's. It's a place over on Queens Boulevard. I think he works there. 
My son works. Louis Anderson portrayed Maurice. Born on March 24, 1953, Anderson was 34 in 1987 and passed away at 68 years old in 2022. His death was due to complications from cancer. Anderson was a respected comedian, known for his stand-up comedy and his Emmy Award-winning role in the TV series Baskets. He also hosted the game show Family Feud from 1999 to 2002. I started on Clean Up just like you guys, but now, see, I'm washing lettuce. Soon I'll be on fries, then the grill. A year or two, I make assistant manager. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. Arsenio Hall played Semi, Akeem's loyal friend. Born on February 12, 1956, Hall was 32 years old at the release of Coming to America and is now 67 years old. Hall is widely known for The Arsenio Hall Show, which became a defining late-night talk show in the early 90s. He also appeared in films like Harlem Nights and Black Dynamite. Arsenio returned to the spotlight with a revived version of his talk show in 2013 and has remained active in comedy and television. You look especially radiant today, Your Grace. Is that so, Semi? Yes. I was just remarking to my mother the other day what lovely skin the Queen has. Allison Dean played Patrice McDowell. Born on June 14, 1969, Dean was 18 years old when she appeared in Coming to America and is 54 years old currently. Post Coming to America, she appeared in movies like Cool as Ice and on television shows including Speed Dating. Her career has been more private, with sporadic appearances in film and television roles. Oh, hi, Akeem. Semi told me everything. Sorry things didn't work out between you and me, but you understand. Good night, sweet prince. Paul Bates played Oha. He was born on October 3rd, 1958 making him 29 years old during the filming of Coming to America, and he is now 65 years old. Bates has since appeared in films like Eight Mile and The Preacher's Wife, and his rich bass voice has been featured in various commercials and theater productions. Madge Sinclair played Queen Aeolian. Born on April 28, 1938, she was 49 in 1987 and passed away at the age of 57 in 1995 from leukemia. Sinclair is remembered for her roles in Roots as Belle Reynolds and as the voice of Sarabi in The Lion King. She received an Emmy for her performance in the television film Gabriel's Fire. When I first met your father, I was terrified. I must admit, I was frightened too. I was so nervous, I became nauseous. Samuel L. Jackson played the robber. Born on December 21, 1948, Jackson was 38 in 1987 and is now 74 years old. Jackson is an iconic actor, known for roles in Pulp Fiction, Jurassic Park, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Nick Fury. His films have grossed over $27 billion worldwide, making him one of the highest grossing actors of all time. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? Drop a comment below and let's keep the nostalgia going.